When I first started running, not many people thought that strength training was important at all. The strength training that was available, any knowledge that was out there, had to do with segmented strength training where you would basically just go and build muscles on Nautilus machines and it had nothing to do with movement. You have to be able to hold that posed position. You have to be able to react uh, the, to the change of support. You have to be able to pull your leg from the ground. Uh, to do that, you do have to have strength. Uh, you have to ultimately uh, hold those positions over the course of however long you're running for. Strength training is important in sprinting and distance running because both endeavors require that you're you're going to be withstanding the force moment and the vicissitudes of the force moment. So whether you're running sprinting or marathon, you still need to have strength for falling. You need to have strength for the force moment. I think it's very important to prepare the muscles and strengthen the muscles that are going to support you the whole kinetic chain as it moves through space. And then also not over strengthen those that you don't want to facilitate, that you don't want to fire all the time. So I think a focus on the posterior chain, the muscles that contribute on the back of the legs and the back of the hips is very important. Some of the most important exercises that will help a runner are the hip exercises because you want to be able to fall. Hips are a key component of uh, running. Uh, if you don't have the strength in your hips uh, to hold your body in that pose position. So what we're trying to do is get your body, you know, um, in that position. Uh, work on that awareness. Yeah, strength training is, is essential because it's what gives you the ability to handle your body weight. The same concept that we use in running is applied to strength training and uh, it's very effective.